Hello, my name is Zoe Steinkamp, and I'm a software engineer and developer advocate at Influx Data. The amount of IoT technology that affects our lives, the way we work, and the way we interact with the world is astounding. With IoT technology, the sky is the limit. I'm going to be going over a small-scale IoT monitoring project I built at home called Plant Buddy. I have been monitoring the health of my sunflower plant at home with a moisture, a temperature, and a light sensor to track the outside air as well as a moisture and temperature sensor to track its soil health, its root health in the soil. All these sensors send data to my microcontroller. That data comes in every second, meaning in an hour I get over 18,000 unique data points. In a day, that's close to half a million. And this is just a small scale project. On a large IoT project, you can only imagine the amount of data it generates. So all that comes in as sensor data. And this is where InfluxDB comes in. InfluxDB is a time series platform that is designed to handle a large amount of time series data, as well as process it in real time. To make ingesting the data easy, we also have Telegraph, our open source data ingestion agent. I used the Telegraph agent in getting my data into InfluxDB, and then I queried it back out with Flux. InfluxDB's time series platform comes with all the tools I need to make getting my data in and out easy. And that is how Telegraph works. With that, you can send your data into InfluxDB, also known as Influx Data, or just Influx if you prefer. But yeah, that is how I get my sensor data in, is with the Telegraph agent. And I use the Flux querying language to actually send it in to my application. InfluxDB also comes with a graphing platform built into not only their own platform, but oh, it's actually a open source standalone application you can use and input into your own application. Since Influx is made for time series data, it can also downsample that collected data. With downsampling, I can get an average. So I can do it over a day, over multiple days, and basically I can get rid of some of the more granular data that I don't really need to hold on to and that makes my application a lot lighter. I am using the Flux query language to get my data out of InfluxDB and into my application. With the Flux query language, I can filter on a time interval. For example, the past 24 hours, or the past month if I'd prefer. I can also filter out erroneous data. My moisture sensor likes to send me zeros every 10 seconds for no reason. So I can just filter out that data and have a much cleaner data source thanks to Flux. InfluxDB is also great at downsampling. What downsampling does is it can give me averages or just smaller data sets. So instead of storing things by the second, I can store them by the minute or even the hour. And I can get averages as well for a month, a week, etc. Finally, we also have our alerts and monitoring system, which is set up with a threshold. So for this one, I'm using my moisture sensor. And when it reaches a certain threshold and stays at that threshold for too long of a time, meaning you've overwatered your plant, I go ahead and send an alert to let you know, cool it on the watering. And yes, this is my Plant Buddy system. My Plant Buddy project took me less than a day to set up and integrating my data with InfluxDB was the easiest part. I hope that my project inspires you to think about your own IoT monitoring projects going forward. <laughs>